Coal provides about 56% of the electricity generated in the U.S. However, this causes for about 130 million tons of coal ash to be produced per year. Coal ash is an inorganic material that contains mercury, lead, and arsenic. About 46 million tons of coal ash is deposited in about 300 landfills across the U.S. every year. Perry County Arrowhead Landfill is where 650 million gallons of coal ash was deposed after the 2008 Kingston coal ash spill. In this landfill, there are two liners, a leachate collection system, and a groundwater monitor. The purpose of this project was to see if mercury has leaked from the landfill and infiltrated the soil and vegetation nearby. I went down to Perry County, Alabama, and I obtained soil from two locations. I brought the soil back to the school lab and grew lettuce and Brussels sprouts in it. I then performed a mercury test on these plants using two drops of the sample, two drops of hexacyanoferrate, and two drops of SDHA. I then placed these samples in an oven at 70 degrees Celsius. 24 hours later, I checked to see if there was a color change. A color change from yellow to blue-green would indicate a presence of mercury. There was a color change in all samples of the lettuce and mussel sprout plants grown in soil surrounding Perry County's Arrowhead landfill. There was also a color change in all soil samples obtained from areas surrounding the landfill. Thus, mercury has leaked from the landfill and infiltrated the soil nearby. This means that mercury has been entered into the base of the food chain near Perry County's Arrowhead Land. Once mercury enters the base of the food chain, it can increase in toxicity due to biological magnification. Once it enters the body, it can adversely affect the porphyrin rings.